And this one here was a dead staining cedar that I found out in the woods and cut it down uh, a while ago. I don't remember when. But I left a lot of the branches on it. So I'm going to trim them off. And that's going to be a coat rack behind the front door. So it's perfect. I don't know, it's probably about 10 inches in diameter on the bottom. And I cut it to, I don't know, maybe 7 feet. Somewhere in that area. But that'll be another one that I can sand down, get down to that beautiful wood, and put a base on it, and boom. So first thing, get to the pressure washer. This is going to be in the rental cabin, uh, and inside, and the corner uh, right behind the front door. But it was so full of algae and moss and, you know, just outdoor woodsy stuff that I really needed to get a good pressure washing um, to get that all cleared off. So that took quite a while, but it was worth it in the end. I did end up spraying some of that brightener, like a deck brightener on it, um, because it just wasn't getting a lot of that algae off. But after I got that first layer off, I could tell it was going to be really pretty with different color um, grains in it. So after that deck brightener, uh, that really helped bring out the um, natural brown color so now you can see the different variations in the cream color uh, definitely a big improvement um, from before so let that dry out for quite a while in the sun and it looked like um, it was going to turn out sometimes you just don't know trim the bottom off and now you can see that it's um, pretty much solid uh, red heartwood from that red cedar it smelled really good just for some variation I cut the top at an angle so you'll see it and then I just propped it up against the garage because I really didn't have any other place to put it um, to get an um, idea about size and what to keep on there but it did really have some nice color variations um, so I knew when I put the color on it it was gonna pop now the hard part all that sanding And it turned out really good after I got it sanded. Got it nice and smooth. Had to do a little hand sanding, but, you know, that's just part of part of it. So I ended up using my usual, this is going to be interior, so I'm just using the wipe-on poly in the satin finish. And because there was it was so dry, for one thing, and there were so many grooves in it, I actually brushed it on instead of just wiping it on because I really needed it to um, soak in. So I'll give you some uh, before and after pictures. And that's the inspiration. When I start seeing that, I start thinking, all right, maybe this was all worthwhile. So I needed a base, and I remembered I had a slice from another tree. So I uh, just kind of got that all sanded up, and man, you can see how dry that one is too. Took many coats to coat that um, open end there. It's about two and a half inches thick, and it worked out perfect for the size. I just did a little counter sink for a, a long, long leg bolt that went in the bottom. And then just for some additional support, put some uh, very long wood screws in. Um, just to catch the base. So I had it all done. Now I don't have a cabin yet, but where else could I put it? All right, let's put it back in the woods for some pictures. So um, I think it turned out really good. I may trim the branches just a little bit shorter, but definitely happy with it. So stay tuned. Um, hoping to get it into the cabin in the next few months. Uh, but for now, I put it in the house our house just so we can uh, get a look at how it's going to look in the cabin. So thanks for joining and stay tuned. Lots more to come.